Hello friends, my name is Sunil Ranjan and I am an English teacher. Well, now I have come up with my video number 19. So, Smart English 19 and I have covered up to 18 in my earlier videos. So, if you subscribe to my channel and watch those videos, there will come a great change in you. I tell you, you will feel the change. It is not just a promise, but I deliver and you will also feel, yes, something is happening here. Now, this is Smart English 19 and the sentence here is, the 10 sentences are here. Not much of a problem. So, just practice 10 sentences and you will feel speaking much better than what you spoke earlier. Now, the first sentence is, where did you get the idea from? Where did you get the idea from? So when you are speaking, speak smartly. Look active. Look energetic. Because then only the other person who is your listener, he or she feels much better and impressed also. Yes. So the first sentence is, where did you get the idea from? You can speak after me. Where did you get the idea from? So one sentence must be finished in one second or maybe two seconds if the sentence is longer but speak uh, fluently huh? look active when speaking so you cannot afford to be dull in life today because we are living in an internet world so you have to be active enough so now the sentence is where did you get the idea from so i think it is very clear where did you get the idea from so you can repeat after me where did you get the idea from now the next sentence is i'll get the money somehow i'll get the money somehow i will the short form is i'll i'll get the money somehow means i will manage money anyhow so you can understand very well what the sentence means so i will manage money anyhow Another way is, I'll get the money somehow. Now, the third sentence is, she really knows how to get results. She really knows how to get results. You might be noticing one thing that all these sentences that I am speaking, you will not find these sentences in translation books. But yes, you will find these in uh, Hollywood films or novels or stories. Because in stories, the characters are speaking. So, the natural English comes from them. If English is good enough, it will automatically come. It will come very naturally. So, our language must come naturally. That is the best language, uh, I must say. So, the third sentence is, as I said earlier, she really knows how to get results. Means she knows well how to get the results. So, how result can be achieved. So, she really knows how to get results. Now the next sentence is, why don't you get yourself a car? Now this is a suggestion that a person is making to some other person. So why don't you get yourself a car? Means why don't you buy a new car for yourself? So that will facilitate life. So uh, the suggestion is, why don't you get yourself a car? Now the next sentence is, get her a soft drink, get her a soft drink. You are telling some other person to bring a soft drink for her, some girl or some lady. Huh? So you say, uh, get her a soft drink, means arrange a soft drink for her. Now the next sentence is, you need to go somewhere that feels safe. See how I have, I have used the word feel. And what I teach you is from Oxford and Cambridge University English. So I refer to those books uh, published by Oxford University or Cambridge University or Howard University professors. So you will feel that English in you and then you will feel that English is very easy to speak. It is not as difficult as some people often say. So the sentence is, you need to go somewhere that feels safe means it feels safe uh, so you need to go somewhere uh, with the place which is safe so you can repeat after me you need to go somewhere where it feels safe now the next sentence is my mouth felt completely dry my mouth felt completely dry uh, means 
uh, I was hungry. Uh, maybe I was hungry or maybe I was thirsty. So my mouth felt completely dry. Means I felt very dry inside my mouth. So you can say my mouth felt not only the person but the sensation is there in the mouth. It is dry. So uh, the sentence can be my mouth felt completely dry. Now the next sentence is that was my first taste of life program. That was my first taste of life program. See how I am using the word taste. taste. So that was my first taste means I had the first opportunity to see a live program. So you can say that was my first taste of live program. Means the program is happening and the person is seeing it for the first time. So that was my first taste means first experience of a live program. Now the next sentence is there appears to have been a mistake. There appears to have been a mistake means simple English that there, there is some mistake so the person feels that there appears to be means he realizes that some mistake has occurred so there appears to have been a mistake so nine sentences are over my dear how do you feel are you feeling comfortable yeah and I am giving you only 10 sentences, not much of a problem. Just practice 10 sentences and then you will feel the heat in you, the burning, something burning inside you and you will feel very happy, very excited and you will wonder how well you have begun to speak. Now the last sentence anyway is, he plays the tough guy in the movie. He plays the tough guy in the movie means some actor is here so he plays a tough guy means a very strong person in the movie the role of a very strong person is mentioned here so he plays the tough guy means he plays the role of a tough person in the movie so you can repeat after me he plays the tough guy of in the movie he plays the tough guy in the movie so these are the 10 sentences my dear and uh, if you have subscribed to my channel thank you very much and if you haven't uh, I think you must subscribe to my channel uh, because then you will be getting a new flavor of English language on your tongue and when you speak to anyone you will feel that yes something has begun to happen in you you feel the change coming in you and that's the magic of communication skills so this much for now thank you